Hi, everybody. Hey, what's up? Yeah, because I was, I was just, my day was good, pretty relaxing. Um, I kind of took a nap earlier, and then it's been raining, so it's been just super relaxing. I guess we'll just start off by checking out what's going on with these energies. I did have a topic, but it kind of is escaping my mind right now, so I'm not even gonna, it's been good. Let's see where the energies are right now. Chilling. I've been making another wand. I have to send yours out. Yours is pretty charged, Elijah, so I'll probably send it out tomorrow. And then my sis is actually going to come to New Orleans and pick this one up. So I've been working on that, and then I have two more spell jars. I have one that's charging, and I got two more to do. So i got to actually pick up some more materials tomorrow, too, to finish my other two spell jars for clients. And then just chilling for now. Oh, look, we got the world card coming up. That's beautiful. Kind of went down a YouTube rabbit hole unintentionally. Those are getting rare and rare these days. And I was like, all right. I have to <laughs> yank myself out of this because <laughs> I'm doing way too much and Telegram is not helping because there's all kinds of shit on Telegram. And if anybody knows any good like channels to follow or I don't know, what do you call them, threads or whatever to follow on Telegram, let me know. Judgment card coming up. That came up for me as well. Bottom of the deck in the Santa Muerte Tarot. Yes, and um, there's a lot of earth changes right now. Like, I was watching, uh, like, an old... It's such a bad movie. I was watching that movie, um, Geostorm. See, we have a lot of meteors coming... In, damn, and the world card? Okay. We have a lot of meteors coming into the planet. And then I believe there was a huge solar flare that affected... Well, potentially affected the Schumann residents. So you have that going on. Volcanoes are exploding in a lot of places. Um, but they're not being as violent as you would think actually there so that means that even though people are going through changes there are certain people that must people must be handling it very well very very well yeah this energy is a little wild and you know everybody wants to get into fear and get into a, a <laughs> I was talking to Bay about this today. I'm like, what's up with all these people with this Mad Max narrative? Like, y'all just want the whole world to go to shit, huh? And especially people who um, kind of hate the U.S. And it's not our fault that our government, like, really sucks. Because the government is not indicative of the people. The people are a totally different thing. And there's corruption from the top down because people are very greedy. So I was looking into a bunch of stuff like that looking up some old uh, Bobby Hemmett and C. Freeman L. videos just to get grounded because I had noticed that on um, a lot of uh, like, you know, bigger platform like spiritualists and stuff, especially the males, because the males will, men typically do well on like YouTube and stuff like that because they're consistent. Women tend to be a little more chaotic, but when we get grounded and get a routine, we're pretty good. Uh, interesting some secrets being revealed I'm just doing a general read while I'm talking until um, you know if you guys want you know a reading or whatever a cash app is there um, but yeah I was just no like I really took like two days just to like look at a whole bunch of weird different shit in the world like I was looking up um I, I looked up a whole fucking like little mini documentary on like spontaneous combustion and then um, a whole satire video from somebody else, um, and it, it was it was satire. I was like, "There's no fucking way." Then I looked up a whole video on a defector from an anomaly. Posted this on his channel. A defector from the um, old old video, uh, the Soviet Union back in the day, and what communism actually is like, and how we all kind of need to wake up and I don't believe see the thing what people don't understand about America and the US is that we have a 13 destiny because when um, they were pushing for 12 but a 13 destiny is a line is in alignment with the divine feminine and it is a spiritual number and it is a spiritual destiny so this country actually has a spiritual destiny and um, the awakening is not gonna happen out there it's only gonna happen in here 
and the more people who get kind of in, a, in tune and in alignment with themselves, they'll be able to they'll be able to by your frequency being higher and by you holding space for that energy other people feel that and then you create a sort of chain reaction so the the fact that a lot of people think that they don't matter you'd be surprised how you setting your intention on the world and bringing bringing um wisdom to the forefront and truth and divine love to the forefront you actually end up creating changes because all of us it's like um it's like that movie the butterfly effect but not as weird um or the mandela effect or uh it's like frequency and waves it's like when you throw a stone into water you always see the ripples and so whatever you're doing there's a rippling out so there's two sides to the collective consciousness right so there's um, one side to the collective consciousness that when I look at things, we also have King of Wands reverse here. This is kind of, I was just pulling cards while I'm talking to you guys. Well, Babylon, the word Babylon, it's a, I got to get the actual documentation from this. And I believe Bobby Hemet did do a video on this as well. And it's, it's kind of like an open secret which is why Babylon is always demonized, but it's, it's, it's another name for the Great Mother or it's known as the throne of the Great Mother. And it's not a wicked place originally. What happens is, well, it's an allegory, okay? You guys take the Bible and stuff too literally. It's an allegory that's basically showing you when the feminine is out of alignment, everything becomes um, defiled and depraved and uh, humanity's consciousness tends to sink down. So so it's not it's not what you think but that's when you have kali energies come forth lilith energies come forth these feminine destroyer energies will come forth and their masculine counterparts to work together to destroy ego and and false falsehood because whatever is not your soul is false so so you can look at reality as and I and I you know I went into like so many different avenues just with my mind the last two days um, you can look at reality as it's manifesting from the inside of you and then you're seeing it on the outside as a reflection so I don't like the word hologram I would rather use reflection because the earth herself also has her own destiny and her own soul so it's a co-creation essentially and the more you kind of get in tune with your own soul the more you have more direction and influence on what you are creating in the external reality that's why we went through um guilt a letting go of guilt um holding on to your divine love and compassion and that way instead of you trying to project all this energy out in a very masculine way you create a force field around you. you you charge your aura with a certain magnetism that where you have so much energy it's um, your cup runs over and then other people can kind of get in tune with that energy as well and it influences people in a very subtle way your energy is influencing people more than what any of us really realize it's, it's a it's a very subtle process to say the least it's a very very subtle process but yeah, oh, look, little inner child works coming up. That's cute. Six of cups. And see, I'm just pulling, like, some cards for the collective. I just was wondering what's going on. The Wheel of Fortune being upright is beautiful. That's um, ascending to a higher level. The Wheel of Fortune always denotes a decision, however. It is a new cycle because it's resonating with the number 10. And um, hex marks the spot, right? Yeah, no problem no problem there's just a lot more going on than what we realize and even even the um like e even the reptilian shit is not accurate information because everybody thinks that there's something happening outside of there what if every world exists and you have access to every frequency but you just have to figure out how to tune yourself like a tuning fork or like um, a radio, how you would tune into a certain station. 
Now, the reason why I say there's reptilian misinformation, because at one point it was dictated that um, an aspect of that energy would be our natural enemies here. And there, there was a need for um, like the Seth character in Egyptian mythology of a villain so that people can, because fear is the antithesis of love. Fear is, is love um, unmanifested, you could say. Fear is is the is the opposite or it's a choice and what's going on on this planet is that people are very much addicted to fear and they don't and they're just at this point the game is just getting very boring and, and our souls really want something else as i'm talking about fear and the devil card comes out right it's going to create bondage for you it's self-created bondage and that's basically what i noticed was going on on this planet is that um the fear aspect and um, even the misinformation on the reptilian energy, that's an energy that exists inside of you. And that was, Bobby Hemis spoke about this so many, and you know, no one talks about the ETs um, just being higher dimensional beings. Nobody talks about ETs that are Egyptian or that are, that are um, black, what we call black, which black is a, it's, it's not, it's not really, no one's really black. <laughs> People are brown. Um, and you know it's just it's just a lot of shit going on and i'm looking at everything and i'm just like what the fuck is going on and then we have a lot of people on this planet that are their soul is either binded or they're um an npc or a non-player character where they're not they're they're uh, a clone or they have like um and you know the cloning thing took me a long time to be like all right is this possible or is this again misinformation? I sit and I think about things sometimes for years and I think that it is possible. We do have the technology for it. And um, I do believe that there's more going on than what any of us understand completely, which is why we need each other, which is why it's not nice to like call people crazy or to say like, you don't know what you're talking about, whatever, whatever, like nah. There's some real people out here that have some real information and 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 most of the time they're completely ignored so their secrets die with them and at this point i don't want anyone's secret to die with them i want to know as much as i can as we share uh wisdom or as we share con even conjecture and just have com honest conversations about what we think is going on in the, in the world and regardless of what you think is going on in the world um fear is never the way i mean that's my main thing I look into all kinds of weird shit. I've always been like that. And fear is never, ever the way. You're not going to get anywhere with fear. Divine love and truth will bring you everything you could have ever wanted. But definitely not fear. And yeah, look, page of swords reversed. That's people not receiving a message. Or receiving a, huh, when I'm hearing from spirit, it's receiving a corrupted message. Um, I think that it's not misinformation. I think that it's really hard. I really don't think, but see, we're both entitled to our opinions. I really have like, really like looked into the topic and really gave it some deep thought and thought about things from both sides. Mm, I don't, I don't think it's misinformation. I don't think everyone's a fucking clone though. Like how people are like, yeah, this person's a clone. That per Everybody's a clone. It's like, n no, baby. No, everybody's not a fucking clone. However, there are a lot of individuals that, I, I, I mean, you can't say that the cloning is not real because on a spiritual level, I'm looking at people and there is no soul in some individuals. And those are our NPCs. And I'm looking at them and I'm feeling into them, no heart, no soul, just existing in a robotic state, just going with the narrative. And I believe that there are certain individuals that just are walking around and it's when you're not in tune with your soul these people are around you and, and and some of them their soul is binded and i can tell the difference yeah it's good to be aware but not to dwell exactly i don't dwell on shit because i'm still not worried about nothing and i'm still i'm all powerful in my reality you are your own god 
you are or you are you are a little mini god that's becoming a god so there's no reason for any of us to feel like it's for any of us to feel like we're you know we're with it's just that fear shit is really the the whole crux of everything and i think that there's a lot of paranoia that comes up um a lot of people are very contradictory in their statements so i'm listening to everything they're saying and i'm like okay 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 like for example um there's a youtuber she says oh this whole planet is a hollow deck well if it's a hollow deck and if this is not if there's no truth to this reality if there's no uh essence to this reality why does it feel so good when we go into nature i mean that's the only i mean that's the only question i would ask okay if this is not a real reality why does it feel good when you go into nature there's no powers the powers to play oh you gotta put me on to that i don't know well i've heard of doppelgangers but no i don't believe that individuals who are living in ego so these powers that be i'm gonna explain to you guys something right now these powers that be are powerless the only thing in because these individuals are um totally disconnected from source and that's their own personal choice okay so yes exactly so that's why i was like that's that's a paradox that you're gonna have to rectify within yourself i think there's an overlay on this reality with our technology with the way our housing is built that is made to insulate us and disconnect us from nature and thus uh, keep us in a state of um, like a stupor where you don't remember yourself. So I, I do, I, you know, obviously it's very, it's very obvious they're nefarious. Um, on the hilltop until we elevate, no, that's not true. And they're actually living in fear. Anyone who needs to have power, now let me, let me explain to y'all something. Anyone who needs to have power over anyone else is powerless. This is um, like how I told you guys, narcissism, um, even, even um, when people are psychopaths, this is a form of a spiritual possession and or an empty vessel. Okay, which soul is being. There are beings that are coming in and out of that body that once you get into your power, they cannot do anything to you. They cannot hurt you. They cannot control you. And they cannot, they can't take away your personal power. You are giving away your power. They simply, they're simply mind controlling you to give away your power by living in fear by thinking that there's something else out there that's greater than you and that's not true. You're a manifester and you're a creator. There's nothing outside of you. There's nothing outside of you in a sense that everything that you see outside of you is also coming from within you at, with, uh, in conjunction with other real souls and it's a co-creation. So all, all that's quiet for all that, there are no powers that be in my reality. I am the power that is. That's it. And that's how all of us really need to start living. I'm the power that is. Why is it so hard to say no? Why are we, why are we constantly through um, predictive programming, through uh, social media, why are we constantly getting baited into arguments? Like me and Ryan just didn't agree, but guess what? Nobody's fucking fighting over here. We do not argue. We discuss and go, okay, that's your opinion. This is mine. And that's perfectly fine. What the fuck? There's no, there's no disconnection because I'm still recognizing this other individual. Okay, I can see the divinity within you. The divinity in me recognizes the divinity within you and we're brothers and sisters in this. That's the proper way, in my opinion. Huh, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to ask you more about that. Mancy, dream sharing but see the, the the dream sharing thing okay i know that they do use energy weapons because i remember one time i was sleeping and i had some meditation music on but i'm very careful about which frequencies that i use and my bluetooth speaker was too close and i had a terrible dream and then i 
asked, you know, spirit about it. I went into meditation. I don't have nightmares. So I was very like, what the fuck is going on? And basically what I realized was that I was having a frequency sent through the speaker that's meant to influence your dreams a certain way. And so I don't use that anymore. I put it way across the room. And the only thing you really have to do is, is meditate yourself to sleep and put a force field or a shield because your energy is that powerful to where nothing fucks with you while you're sleeping. Nothing fucks with you when you go outside. This is why I told you. Why do you think babies are so fucking protected in their frequency? They're closest to source and they're in a state of love and compassion. Now, you're older, so you're a little wiser, but don't be fucking jaded. Don't be in a state of fear. Don't be in a state of, I don't love myself. That's what's opening you up for attacks, for spiritual attacks, for psychic attacks. That's your, it's your responsibility to tune into your own soul, which is why all I teach y'all is to tune into you. And then I help clear distortions. So as I heal, you heal. As you heal, I heal. We all heal on, on, a, on a more collective aspect. Oh, Well, you could send it to me through Facebook Pay, too. No, my PayPal's fucked up right now. Just use Facebook Pay. Yeah, I saw that. But they're, all, they're still only using your energy against you. I've literally... Okay, you guys don't know what I used to go through in New York. Um, I've the gang stalk, gang stalking. That shit doesn't work on me. I hit him with this. I hit him with power. This this mudra is not devil horns. That's a misuse of a symbol. Okay, <laughs> it's power. Power. You can use it this way too. If someone's in your space, and it actually pushes them out of your space. All right, yeah. You just go into Messenger. And then there's a little money thing, and then you can just send it straight through there with your card. It's super easy. Um, okay, maybe I should just make another PayPal. Um, so then there's this, right? And I remember when I first came to New Orleans, I it was it's always these white cards. It's a weird thing, and I don't know if it's archonic and spiritual or if it's physical people. I was thinking it was more spiritual and these energies were trying to intimidate me by hopping into these bodies. Now the real shit that happened was when I was in New York, staying at my dad's house. Um, yeah, power. You're putting your, this one? Why do you think uh, Tahuti does this? And Jesus, when the pictures they put of the, the Jesus archetype does this, this is divine truth. This is when you're bringing divine truth to yourself. There's ones for grounding. Mudras where you can go like this and ground yourself. There's there's all kinds of mudras. Play with your hands a little bit. Um, and then the thing is, is you guys are looking at symbols and people are getting fucking... I'm going to get back to my point. But people are being fucking schizophrenic with the symbolism. And they're like, oh somebody's out to get me uh this is happening that nothing's fucking happening bro they're taking your ancient symbols and your ancient ancestors like the egyptian deities those are your ancient ancestors what the fuck <laughs> and they're making it out to be something that's evil or wicked or different from you it's not it's not about the symbol the symbol itself is not good nor is it evil but this is programming through these fucking truther channels. And you notice these big fucking truther channels? Why don't they ever end up off the fucking internet? Why, why do they have millions and millions of subscribers? They're not telling you something. Oh, and one thing you can do. Um, so if they're doing a psychic spying, for example. Because I can actually do. I can do that remote viewing shit too. Fucking easy. I can tell you where the dead bodies are buried. Literally, I've done that for people before. Um, and it's very hard work. It actually freaks me out. I don't like diving into it. It's very dark. See if Cash App will work for you. My Cash App was working fine today. Let me yeah, I guess just try it one more time and see what happens. So basically, full warriors of 
those niggas post the same shit all day. They some bots. That's what I'm saying. And and the whole mechanism is fear. At the at the at the core of all this, it's fucking fear. They're getting you to be afraid of your own ancient symbols, of your own ancient wisdom. Oh, that's evil. Oh, this is the Ill Illuminati. Oh, uh, uh, uh. they're giving you anxiety and fear, so you forget who the fuck you are. That's all that's happening the whole fucking time. It, it all boils down to one thing. Oh, okay. My bank chains banks, so it won't transfer it from... How did your... Oh, it changed... Okay, it changed your account. Um, I say just use the Facebook pay, because I will not get anything off PayPal right now. Um, somebody fucked with my account, so I, I literally won't even get a PayPal right now. How long I got cash out for now? Oh, well. So my, um... To my car, uh, I, I went with an online bank with Vero. So till that card comes in, it should be coming in this week. It's all good. I'm so not tripping. Anyway, so it's all fear-based. So let me get back to my original point and, and let you guys know how spirit really is protecting you. And this is a real fucking story. When I lived in New York, I mean, I was, I had people that I was in communication with that were very good friends of mine. We were very close. We would all, okay, okay, sweetie, I love you. Uh, we were all on uh, the phone together. We were always like getting in tune with each other, hanging out together and everything. Um, this is a couple years back. So as I started to drop more sacred and ancient wisdom, basically what happened was I noticed that there was a van once in a while that would park outside my house. And I'm like, okay, that's suspicious and it was parked right on the side of the house and the windows all were covered and I never saw anyone coming or going from this van and um, it was parked there consecutively for a week straight same fucking week military jet fly down close to the tree line and slow down and I'm sitting outside smoking a cigarette like Okay, and I couldn't figure out why I was just talking about ratchet shit. Who do you want to hear from, Verdell? Um, couldn't figure out why I was saying ratchet shit all week, and then the van disappeared, and I didn't see them. But then I realized Spirit was protecting me. Another crazy fucking story. Oh, Tahuti, yes, we can bring Tahuti in. Girl, that's going to be fun. Um, another story I have. I was living in Tennessee, and I had a boyfriend at the time, and we were both channels. Very, very, um, he ended up sinking back into his humanity, but I opened him up to spirituality. He was very powerful, um, in a greater way. And I hope to this day he is on his path. We, uh, were in Tennessee. We were renting a room and it had, you know, had like a little kitchen and everything it was cute. Um, and I start channeling Sophia, wisdom, Sophia. He starts channeling Yeshua. We are at this extremely high frequency channeling these divine entities for almost oh, two hours straight. And then we took a break and the half an hour we took a break and there's a military base close by. The half and there was a military, uh, there was a, a military school of aviation very close to my home in New York. The, it was a black helicopter. Literally we're on the second floor. The helicopter comes and is in front of the window where we live. In front of the window, in the middle of the complex. They couldn't see us. Frequency was too high. I'm cursing the man. I'm like, fuck you. I'm not scared of you motherfuckers. You guys can kiss my ass. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep doing this shit every fucking day. Like, you cannot intimidate me. I was so pissed. And he's laughing. And he's just like, babe, we're at such a high frequency they can't see us. You don't understand who you are, how powerful you are. They literally couldn't see us. They had technology that can sense a change in frequency. And then they're like, oh shit, we gotta go check this out. This is a true fucking story. And I wish I was still, I mean, we had a bad falling out when we broke up. If I was still in communication with him today, I'd bring him on the live and have him tell you about it. Okay, so you are more powerful than what you realize. Don't worry about 
what outside is showing you observe don't absorb because i like to know what the fuck is going on everywhere and sometimes um kofi be looking at me and he'd be like babe why are you watching all these weird ass videos on the internet and why are you have to like be into so into everything and i said because i got to know everything that's going on i just need to know so that when i go into do my spiritual work the real work i can fuck these energies up i have shifted energies on this planet by myself okay and also in conjunction with other souls through sex magic through rituals through meditation just pure meditation by myself i've done that and it's not just for me it's for our collective so that we continue to receive the gifts that we deserve okay because we're not hateful people we're not spiteful people we don't want to harm others we're real souls and anything that is not of us at this time needs to fucking go now all perspectives all frequencies matter but anybody who wants to assert power and control over another and then usurps your own energy to make you fuck yourself up essentially that has to end that's a lie it's a fucking lie and i'm tired of it i'm tired i've been in communication with the mother she's tired we're all fucking tired every deity i channel is fucking tired and they're like get into your power get into your divine truth stop living in a state of hyperbolic fear it's ruining you it's ruining you but it's your own personal choice and we do we do have free will here so it's your own personal choice and that is always something that comes through is that it's always a personal choice so I mean yeah guys we got a lot I'm gonna go into this channel for Tahuti um, we've got a lot going on all frequencies do matter because otherwise you can't go up and down the ladder because the ladder has no base the ladder is your spine okay you can ascend your root chakra and have it at a higher operating at a higher frequency you can ignite your kundalini energy there are three forms of kundalini I, I've explored all of them and the three forms that I know of there may be fucking more you guys are unique souls. You can go ahead and discover that for yourself and teach me something. Um, please. And y'all teach me something all the time. You go, you don't even, even in our personal sessions when I love this soul so much, I can no longer see them suffer. And I have to come up with a new energy technique on the spot. I go to spirit and I bring that technique into this realm. It's a remembrance of ancient wisdom and information. It's all love here. Seriously yeah you're welcome um so that's why and we chose to inner inner stand and come to a space of exploring what this fear thing is so that hi Raphael, we came to an inner stand and, and came to a space of exploring what fear is so that we can understand ourselves better and we can understand what love is because if you don't have the opposite this is all about balancing polarities you got to get into um the book of coming forth by day which is the book of the dead which is not really the book of the dead it's the book of life literally it teaches you how to be immortal so the book of coming forth by day um the cabalion but the cabalion is very masculine oriented and it is still pulling from the emerald tablets of thoth which is more ba balanced um masculine feminine all that stuff hermes is not hermes hermes was a dude who was channeling to hootie and they give you this fucking greeked out version of history that like Hermes was a real person. But when I spoke to Thoth, basically he Hermes had, had gotten so uh, engaged with his frequency and really got in tune with that frequency and started channeling and everything. And that's where the Cabalion is coming from. It's telling you about the Hermetic principles and stuff like that. Um, that uh, an aspect of Hermes' soul actually merged with Tahuti's energy. Tahuti is very wise and divine, but a little secret is that, yeah, a little secret is, a little, little open secret, s uh, Sachet whispers in Thoth's ear. Even he honors the feminine. And it's about honoring the feminine within you for my masculines, and for my feminines, honoring the masculine within you.
things are moving forward down here. You guys look at death in this realm as if it's a bad thing. I have a plan. My plan is my plan is already in place. The mother has a plan, trust me. I knew people a lot of people were going to die this year before the year started. And I've been seeing it all through my timeline. I've been seeing it everywhere, death everywhere. All through people I know calling me up, people I love dying. I was literally in tears in Florida um, last month. Um, shoot, it was almost a month and a half ago now. I found out a very, very good friend of mine passed away. And I was heartbroken because I loved her dearly. She was Irish. But when I tuned in with her soul, her soul went back to Ireland. And Ireland is just a very mystical, beautiful land. And a lot of the people have lost um, that essence. What I learned in a channel was that Ireland was a part of either Lemuria or Atlantis. I'm hearing Lemuria now, but I channeled it at the time as Atlantis because I didn't know too much about Lemuria yet. Um, yes, a lot of people have made the transition and that was to happen because it's not pollution. It's not um, geoengineering. And I've, I've actually been able to go into meditation and push some of those storms off um, from geoengineering and stuff. We can all do that. All of us have the gift. Um, it's not any of that shit. What pollutes the world is people living out of harmony and balance with their own self. It's the self aligned with the self. And I learned that through my runes, actually. Because I have a rune, I have a very good rune book. Um, man, what was his name? Bloom? Here, I have my rune book here. And let me show you the self rune to teach you guys a little bit about runes. Let's get into some books real quick before I do this channel for Tahuti, right? Let's fucking have a really good time today. Learning, learning, we're learning today, okay? Let me see if I can find it. Ah, Issa rune, one of my favorites, the blank rune. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is, I, be, I believe this book is from Jeffrey Rune. No, it's from Ralph H. Bloom, the Book of Runes, right? And he also puts in a lot of ancient wisdom here. If you guys need to take a little screenshot of that and flip it around, I'm going to just leave it up for a second. Okay, you got it? All right. So in Vikings, we're, um, this whole planet was brown at one point. And um, it, it, brown skin is meant to represent whether you're light or whether you're dark. It represents all the colors of the rainbow. So, so you're literally, you're all, we are all, even in our physical bodies, we are all different spectrums of light. It is beautiful. And you can, you can go inside and absorb and you have an inner sun. Why do you think there's so many solar flares and stuff? The sun is not doing anything out there. Dr. Deborah Blair told you guys this. If the sun was hot, space would be hot. Space is cold. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And yet it warms the earth because it resonates with something inside of you, okay? So let me, I believe it is the self rune, page 93. I'm going to go in here and read this to you guys. And that's not saying anything against our lunars because our lunars are still beautiful and souls are souls. That black sun, yeah, and that exists in your body. It's behind your solar plexus chakra. It's one of the primordial chakras black dot behind the uh, heart chakra and I'm hearing that Kali would teach y'all a lot but not all of you can handle her frequency so please 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 act in um, act in your divine wisdom when you deal with Kali okay so this is the self room all right so there's nothing going on out there you are even manifesting the cosmos okay I'm going to see if it's here. Know thyself. I believe it's here where I learned this. Okay, the starting point is the self. Its essence is water. All right? Only clarity willingness to change is effective now a correct relation to yourself is primary 
for from it flow all possibilities of right relationships with others and with the divine. Remain modest. That is the Oracle's counsel, regardless of how great may be your merit. Be yielding, devoted, and moderate. Then you have true direction for your life. Be in the world, but not of it. And yet do not be closed, narrow, or judging. Rather remain uh, receptive to impulses flowing from the divine within and without. Strive to live the ordinary life in a non-ordinary way. Remember at all times what is coming to be and passing away. And focus on that which abides. Nothing less is called for you now. This is a time of major, major growth, reflection, um, and as a rule, re uh, rectification must come from the progress. The field is the field is tilled before the seeds. Where is it here? Ba, 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 ba. The self must know stillness before it can discover its true song. Hold up, Temple of Delphi. I know you said that. Independent partnership. Where was the one? I'm going to find it because there was one where it just signals rune, the god Loki. You already know. Hayoka. Okay. Anus. It might be the initiation one. Let me see. Ba, 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 ba. Nope. Celia partnership. I'm going to find it. It's in here because I, I, you guys need to get this message. I'm going to find it. There's not that many here. Okay, there's there's also, they put a lot of good information in here. And then we will channel our divine brother, our divine um, almost uncle, uh, Tahuti. Okay, initiation. Perth stands initiation. Move everything. Okay. Ah, uh, constraint. I learned so much from this. I'm gonna find it here. Completion of the new beginnings. Blah 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 blah. Oh, I love the defense. I love the joy room. That's one of my favorites, and it's actually one of the spiritual warrior. Okay, it might be a spiritual warrior one with his algies. Sorry, guys, give me a sec. I'm gonna find it as above, so below. Vigilance, good fortune. The reason why I haven't used these that much is because I have to buy a new set of runes. Ah, here it is. It was the joy rune. That is so funny. I'm going to show you guys the joy rune. I had a feeling it was the joy rune. And that's funny because I picked the self and when you split it in half. Oh my god. Baba who? Block. Okay. What did that... Oh, that was the self rune. I'm creating my own set soon. Oh, new Wapian. Oh, I like the Celtic ones personally. That's why I always use the Celtic runes. I I started using runes before like anybody really was talking about them. Only like really like people that were Irish or identified as Viking online was using them. I think I was the first like person in our community to really use runes like that I know of anyway. So this is backwards, but um, this is a joy rune, right? Joy light. Uh, the name for it is a uh, wunjo. Wun the this rune is a fruit bearing branch bearing branch the term of travail is ended and you have come to yourself in some regard the shift that was due has occurred you can now freely receive wunjo's blessings whether they be in material gain in your emotional life or in a heightened sense of your own well-being this is an alchemical moment in which understanding is transmuted from knowledge the knowledge itself was necessary, but not sufficient condition. Now you can rejoice. Um, have you, having been carried across the gap by the will of heaven, joyousness accompanies new energy, energy blocked before now. Light pierces the clouds and touches the waters, just as something lovely emerges from the depths. The soul is illuminated from within, at, at the meeting place between heaven and earth. 
the meeting of the waters. That's why I always tell you guys that you are the connecting factor between heaven and earth. You, the trees are a pillar of light. The stars are a pillar of light. You are a pillar of light. Okay. There is new clarity, which may call for you to renounce existing plans, ambitions, goals. It is proper and timely for you to do so with the wound. said so the last line is the one that always did it for me and always stuck with me, right? For Wunjo is a rune of restoration of the self properly aligned with the self. So when I would get this rune, right? That's how I learned about that, even even that concept. I was using these runes. I found that book in a, um, I found the book and the rune set in a uh, uh, used book used bookstore, like an old, like a like a. I was just, I don't even know. This is before. This is like when I really got into like buying books and started buying my cards and stuff. I would just go to the spiritual shop and just pick shit up, and they had a lot of used stuff that was like interesting. So this was one of the books I happened to pick up picked up some runes and I was like, all right, I'm gonna try this out and see how this goes. And I just found that runes are the art of reading the self. And it is a beautiful practice and I absolutely love it. I love it. So that that term, the self aligned with the self, it took me years to like really sink into that, to that one term. It took me years to like just sink into it. I'm like, what is this self aligned with the self? And I was like, it's, it's, it's you aligning with your own self. It's your physical body reality aligning with your spiritual reality. It's you aligning with you. And the thing is, what, what's interesting, even um, in a lot of texts I see, there, even though as within, so without is a concept, it doesn't come up that much. As above, so below comes up a lot and then knowing that what is above is also below. So what you think is heaven up there and you're looking up to, to be like, um, I'm going to find heaven up there. Heaven is really down here. And so when you go into the flower of life, if you look at the flower of life as a spear, you can imagine yourself meditating in the middle, right? The flower of life is a ge 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 geomer uh, geom uh, geometric symbol, it's sacred geometry essentially. And what it represents is all of creation. So when you go inside the flower of life, you go into the womb. And, and this is how uh, Pata is called the self-created God because he went into the womb and he's really an ancestor. He's an elevated ancestor. You go, you go into the womb and you create self and you create from that space of the of divine darkness. And so all frequencies, all realities, all dimensions are encased in this sacred symbol is what I'm like coming to at this point in my life. And I'm like, this is fucking incredible. And uh, yeah, basically, I mean, and so when you think of the self aligning with yourself, it's you every day waking up and choosing your soul. Not choosing drama, not choosing stress, not choosing to appease people, not choosing others. Uh, just choose yourself. Now, boy, Tahuti has a lot to say already. So let's channel Tahuti.